there's the uh, kind of the original look, so people get what they're used to seeing here at the speed of the It's really up to our imagination. Have the ability as well to um, put uh, logos for the events, sponsor logos. And this is something for NASCAR, the numbers are really important. Well, as a, as a sporting venue, and you look at other sports venues, and you look at all the competition we have and the way that the fan experiences the event, it's more than the game on this court, it's more than the race on the track. You have to be able to deliver that information to the seats. We knew that we had to upgrade ourselves a little bit, but we also knew that tradition is what makes the Indianapolis Motor Speedway special. We are special because we've been here 105 years, and there are things that you're used to. And some of those iconic images here are the pagoda and the pylon and the way that the grandstands look. So we felt like if we were going to do it, we had to do it in a way that we could at least light it if it was going to be video board so that as our fans came in on race day morning they saw what they've been used to seeing since 1959 so this gives us that flexibility uh, to address that concern about tradition obviously fans these days and everything they could see with this new pylon well this will enhance the fan experience for a couple of reasons one because folks further away from the pylon will be able to see it folks closer to the pylon will be able to see it better even in a day like today when the sun is really bright you can still see the information on the pylon the other thing it will allow us to do is give those fans in their seats much more information so they'll be able to see where the drivers are not only where the drivers are running but how far they might be behind the leader they're going to be able to see more of the positions because we can rotate through more of the positions quickly and in an efficient way that they'll be able to see that from their seats we can also uh, do a green light a green light green flag yellow light yellow flag american flag that's going to help fans know what's going on clearly when a yellow happens it's going to be really bright here in the uh, on the pylon It'll also help the drivers as they're driving on the track is just one more thing that they can use as an opportunity to see uh, what track conditions are and the other thing we can do and we're going to learn more about this as we start working with it is we've got more video capabilities so we can uh, show logos uh, for our event logos we can give sponsor call call outs there's all kinds of things we can do because it's essentially a ribbon board that you're used to seeing horizontally in, inside a sporting venue that you're now seeing uh, vertically here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Aspects of it. So the physical aspects again goes back to that tradition. We really wanted to make sure that it felt like and looked like the old pylon. So it's almost the same size. It's about two feet taller. It's 92, two, 92 feet high, and it's six feet three inches wide. The old one was six feet uh, six feet wide. So it's very very similar to what we've been used to since 1994. Now the first pylon was only 78 feet high. The one that was up from uh, 1959 through uh, 1993, but was still obviously this shape. So we really wanted to make sure that when fans came, it felt the same. So if you didn't know any better, you're not going to know that this one is about 20 inches taller than the than the previous one and you're not going to know that it's three inches wider it looks like uh, the black square pylon that we're used to seeing at the indianapolis motor speedway okay so so it, we're committed to making sure that the fans experience in their seats is much better and this is the first step to doing that the next step hopefully this fall will begin to add the video boards and the other capabilities that will allow people in other locations especially locations that can't see uh, the pylon here have better video capabilities so from their seats especially in a venue like this where you can't see all the way around you can keep track of the action as it goes around the racetrack so those are, those are some of the things I think fans can look forward to for the 2015 Indianapolis 500 a new pylon and uh, and new video boards awesome. Is there anything else?